Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Uh, today we're going to be talking about return types, initializers, and we're going to be programming or creating a, uh, a class called widget just for uh, practice. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's create our widget class. So public, we're used to this now, right? Public uh, class widget. Um, we'll create one member variable. So we'll do uh, private int length. Now, just so you know, um, this access modifier here we declared is private, right? If we did not have this, int length would still be private. Uh, it's implicitly private whenever you cre uh, create a member variable, but it's a best practice to explicitly state uh, that it's private. So let's create a uh, member method. Uh, typically, we're used to saying public void, you know, maybe size. Um, Instead, if we want to have this return a value, we just do public int size. Uh, we'll give it a, uh, you know, an argument to say int width, okay? And let's go ahead and uh, to return a value, you know, we could have a whole bunch of stuff up here, but we'll just do return and, you know, just say our widget size is calculated by taking the length, this dot length times width uh, plus, uh, you know, 15. Okay, so um, whenever we, uh, so, so let's go ahead and create a, uh, an instance of this class. We'll create an object, right? So widget, widget equals widget, I'm sorry, equals new widget. Okay, now what we're going to do is we'll create a variable called size, int size equals, and that's how you know we're going to return a value. Um, so widget dot size, okay, and we will put in, the width will be five. Okay, now just remember when that we, we do not have a constructor here, actually we do, we did not explicitly define one, so our, you know, the implicit constructor is going to initialize length to a safe value, which will be zero. So we'll have zero times whatever is zero plus 15. So we'll do console dot right line, okay, size equals, and we should get 15, size. So let's go ahead and run this and see if we get 15. Perfect, we did. Okay, so now initializer is real simple. Um, just say our widget is always gonna have the same length, to say the length will always be two, uh, we can. That's it. That's an initializer. It'll automatically initialize that variable to two every time. So if we run this, we'll get rid of our warning, and our size will change because now we're getting um, to two times five, ten plus fifteen, twenty-five. Right? Yep. Okay. So let's go ahead and see if I was um, was lying here. So if we do. That uh, and and the access modifier is indeed private if we do not, uh, you know, explicitly state that. So let's do um, size equals um, widget dot length. Now we should say uh, get an error saying that it's inaccessible. Uh, let's go ahead and just remove that. Okay. We, we still have a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and just make it public real fast to dis to get that error message to go away. And we'll go ahead and delete that one more time just to verify that it, the error message comes back. So it is indeed uh, private, but we always want to explicitly define the um, you know the access modifier. So private. Okay. So again, like I said, it was um, short but sweet. Um, now you know how to return. Um, let's see here, I'm going to delete that. Return a, uh, you know, a variable from a, uh, you know, a member function. Uh, this is an int. It could have easily been a string or float or even another class type. Um, and you know, we know how to set these up automatically if, if the, uh, and, and initialize these if they're always going to be the same value. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, this quick lesson. If you have any comments, uh, please. You know, visit us and, and post on Nextstar TV or on our YouTube channel. And once again, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.